Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is August and this is really August. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a previous watcher, welcome back. As always, I am sending you love and light and I am back with another reaction for you guys today. And honestly, lately I have been on such like an om the non flash bad buddy kick. I just can't get over the series and I just can't get over the ship. They're just so cute and lovable and I love them. That, that was kind of a new point to say that. Um, anyway, the video we're watching today is Om Nanon Can't Stop Kissing for 9 minutes and 55 seconds straight, honey. Like, oh. Oh. Should I be watching this? Like, should I be even be allowed to see this? Uh, regardless, we're gonna watch it, but is it allowed? Anyway, before we dive into this reaction, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and a share if you feel so inclined to do so, and turn that notification bell on to know when I upload next. This is what you do on your very first day in Paris. Get yourself some rain. The rain's very important because that's what Paris is sweetest. Alright guys, I am back. I have the video up. I'm ready to go. Let's dive into this reaction. Oh my god. Ah. Sorry, my freaking foot fell asleep. Oh gosh. Oh, that was a good kiss though, honey. I mean, let's be honest, Pat and Prawn are probably one of the best, like, BL, like, relationships to ever, ever, you know? Like, this, uh, all men and all this, like, portrayal of these two characters just felt so natural. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel like characters. I think what it is, is like the show did a great job of not making every moment seem pivotal. Like so they allowed for like natural moments to exist within the relationship and not for it to be like a dramatic build up or for it to be like a moment that changes the relationship forever. Like they had they allowed them to just exist as a couple or as two people falling in love with each other and not to like really make the characters like super great. This video is not what I was expecting it to be, but in the best way possible. It's like, it's so cool to see them get into character. Mm. 
the gnomes laugh and smile and everything. You can tell they have a really special friendship. You can just see the trust between them. And they just seem to en genuinely enjoy each other's company. Outside of the ship, outside of the, the series, outside of their job, you can totally just enjoy each other's company, as friends should, as friends do. We love that for them. Good ass kiss. Like, so good. Not, not, it's like not dry, it's not too wet, it's just right. You know, like Goldilocks said, just right. Is that the uh, director, producer, uh, whatever? He's kind of cute. Who is that? Sorry. This is just not at all what I expected it to be. And like, it's just, uh,
I just love these two actors. Like, oh, like I'll talk more at the end, but. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, well, let's begin by fixing that. Um, what a really good video. I, it just only like further, for, for me, further solidifies the fact that um, Bad Buddy was one of GMN TV's best series. Like, no cap. And if you disagree, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> I love these characters. And this video, like I guess it was not at all what I was expecting. I was expecting some kind of like thirsty, thirst trap video, you know, from the title. But I'm so glad it wasn't that, because it was just so much more. It just really a testament to how great these two actors' relationship is and how comfortable they are and how creating an environment for actors to thrive together is what really makes or breaks a series or any kind of like creative art, any kind of like movie, film, show, whatever, the environment that you create around these actors and the relationship they cultivate there and of that environment really goes to show how much that matters in filming something like this. Again, really good. Did not expect this to have like this kind of thought provoking uh, reaction from me, but we live for it, honey. We live. This is why I love Thai dramas. They never cease to amaze me. Every time I think one series has amazed me, another one comes and amazes me even further, and another one, and another one. And there's like very few series that I've watched that have left me like deeply, deeply like attached to these characters because I can disassociate from characters really, really easy. But there are very few series, and like, until we meet again, Bad Buddy, and then, uh, what was the other one? Oh my gosh. I Tell a Thousand Stars. Those are the three, these are the three series that really, like, uh, the characters, I can't seem to, like, love them just yet. Because just how much depth the actors put into these characters, and how nuanced and how weird they are. Anyway, I'm rambling on way too much. This video is like 60 minutes long already. Um, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, uh, give it a like. Um, let me know down below in the comments any other videos you want me to react to next. And until my next reaction, have a great day and stay safe. Bye. <laughs> Stop.